everybody. Thanks for checking out the show. Before we start, just want to give you a couple plugs. <laughs> February 25th, go see Mike Cannon at the Gramercy Theater in New York City. He's a guest on the show today. It's a lot of fun. Go out, support him, enjoy it. And also, do me the favor of buying tickets to see me February 10th and 11th, Long Island Governor's Brokerage. That's right. And then February 15th, Fort Worth, Texas Hyenas. February 16th, Dallas, Texas Hyenas. February 17th and 18th, McAllister, Oklahoma. And the big one, the big kahuna, the big tuna, the big fish in the see that we're pulling onto the boat so we can feed everyone for a long time coming february 19th hollywood improv los angeles california come on out hear a joke have a smoke and let's have a good old time it's going to be fun me Chappelle lacy rick glassman jamar neighbors lily michelle and i'm closing it out running my hour and you better come out and if you don't i understand i get it but Come on, ianfinance.com for tickets. I'll see you there. We appreciate it, guys. And go see Jordan this weekend at Laugh Boston. That's right. She's not here or else she'd do her plugs. So, <laughs> better luck next time, bitch. See you soon. Telling jokes and having smokes Riding bikes all through the night It's a wild ride When you're being Ian Coffee ice, no matter what Now you know he likes it in the butt It's a wild ride When you're being Ian Being Ian And life is shit, but you're positive Let's find out what it's like to live A life Being Ian Being Ian With Jordan <laughs> Mine changes. Mine is, mine's like as of the last two weeks. Maybe longer. Who is it? Dua Lipa. What? Oh, Explore. Dude, page. I truly. Oh, mine's Bats. It's always Bats. It's these guys. Bats? Yeah. Oh, let's see. My, are we recording? It's Bats. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at this little guy. That was a good one. Look Thanks. at this little guy. How is that not going to be your recurring? He's That's like horrible. David Tell. He's so oh, evil, but he's so mine sweet. Is like bad. The, it looks like mine the dog from Lady and the Tramp. Oh. <laughs> it's such an ugly... Mine is tattoos. Oh, weird raccoons. It's rodents. Horror oh. film things. This hot chick with knives in her back. Are the... Uh oh, uh -oh. Edit. <laughs> edit. All uh, right. Problematic. Trans. Pit bulls. A lot of pit bulls. Porn okay. star. Oh, oh, here. Oh, psh. Oh my God! This oh, guy Sydney doing Sydney Sweeney, a... first one. George Costanza, Who? Sydney Sweeney from uh, from White Sweeney Lotus Todd? slash Euphoria. See. Hardcore bands, She's massively hot. Who is oh, that? Oh, oh. Sydney Sweeney. Oh my God! Crazy, crazy. Oh my God! Yeah, I'm going backwards. Dude. I'm like jerking off to Instagram like it's music videos. I'm out. I'm out on porn. I'm I jerked to... off to the Audible thong song. When it came out, <laughs> the audible, yeah. <laughs> just, Cisco's voice just, just did that. When? Well, just like hearing. Day? No, no, no. Like oh. just hearing, like, oh, that dress so scandalous. And then in my head, I was like, oh, a scandalous dress. And then thong, 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 thong. Yeah, and we then know I, what you conjured up right. from yeah. the lyrics. Okay, so this just, is my <laughs> explore page. A large, strong man with a boy. Yeah. That makes sense. Whee! From the knives to that, it kind of. Oh, that dress so Jane's scandalous. getting a lot of Down syndrome because we talk about I'm it. getting a lot of freaks. That's all right. I get a lot of anorexic girls. I get a lot of tattoos. Do you not explore? Do you not go on that? Oh, I got a little moth explore. cleaning his little face. <laughs> I get a lot of those. <laughs> Look at him. You and David Ooh. Attenborough have the same explore page. Oh, he's washing his little he's face. So Man, that is actually... I am really down with that. How cute was Samson? Yesterday? Okay, yesterday what happens? Can I tell a story, please? Yeah. I've already told it three times. Yeah. Okay. On the pond? No. To In people. general. Oh, nice. It, within, the next, within the last nine hours. I love that. He has a cat. The yes. cat to me, Samson. the cat to me has You're always been- You're telling I'm like the hype man. Okay. He's cat, your proof. He's proof to your m and I see. I see. I see. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, the cat to me has been has always been every third word he echoes. It's crazy. Let me make a beat. No, 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 no. 
I, I get it. The All cat right. has always been like just a judgy Judy in the corner, just like this for years. Okay. Can and I interject? No, 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 absolutely not. So <laughs> he, and then if I try and get near him, he skitters away. And I've kind of just been like, all right, just get it. You're a fucking angry, right. Hasidic Jew. I don't like you. Okay. <laughs> he runs away. He is. He has Let that. Let me interject on that. No, one. no, 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 no. You can't. So then. Is America? Slowly but surely, he's been coming out more and more towards me. Ah, big deal. We don't make any sudden movements. Last night, we got the new nails. I go into the bedroom. I say, it's okay. He goes, huh? You see him start to lurch? And I go, it's okay in Spanish. And then he settles in. I scratch his face. I scratch him. I'm scratching. He's getting so into it. It's crazy. And then I reach for the belly and I rub his belly. Both legs go out straight. Both arms go up in the air. And I go, and I go, Ian, I didn't know he was a, Ian pops up behind me and goes, you didn't know he was a long guy. And I was like, I didn't know he was a long. And then we sat there and rub Samson's belly for a good five minutes. Oh, he looks weird. What? Let me Fuck see. you. Let me see. No, he does. You, you're no. fucking 30 and you have gray hair. No, Fuck no. off. <laughs> he doesn't look weird. It looks objectively weird for no, no, no. sure. I'm not look, saying look that it's like, got. kill it. Look I'm how just long saying. He got. Look how long that cat got. I know. I never saw that cat That's look anything weird, right? other than traumatized. He's not weird. But I mean, you're, you're equating weird with bad because people used to stare and chant weird at you as a fucking <laughs> middle schooler. But I'm looking at that. Weird and, that and bad. Being like, weird well, and bad. <laughs> weird both and weird and bad. Um, okay. So to add to your point, he's not judgy. He's a lot like you. People go, look at her judging in the corner, but you're hating yourself. He's a scared guy because he was found in an engine block in Brooklyn under engine a car block, the name yeah. of and he was scared. And I was Do you know his how many mother. kids from this neighborhood wish they had that origin story? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yes. Yes. They dress like an engine they block. They call cat. themselves engine block. <laughs> oh, I legit thought you were meaning Puerto Rican kids. And I was like, no, no, they no, do. like Williamsburg. Oh, oh yeah. the ones that moved here. The Shawshank yeah. Redemption. Rich like kids, kids that yeah. are here from Greenwich, Connecticut, yeah. oh, but are pretending fags. to have like faded and old. It. Um, Weird, on the last kidding. podcast, I said that you on Vice dressed like Shawshank Redemption, which I thought was a great look, and I just used it again. to. Describe. I said that I like you it. dressed like a cast member from all that. <laughs> About her? About you. About me? No, at on the Vice show that I wasn't allowed on. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had. But he I had... promised a season two. <laughs> okay. I, well, so, I, I, forgot to, I forgot to ask who was the person on that show that they said sucked. Sucked. Oh, there was a couple. Kim, Whis- you know, you yeah. know. Whisper oh, time, whisper time. time. Whisper Mike's time. down. Mike's whisper. Down. No, I can't. I can't while the cameras are rolling. I yeah. can very. No, like, he's a DP. <laughs> I'm, I'm heavily involved in this. Yeah, can yeah, you yeah. Write it? No, we can't. I'm can you write involved. it down? I can't even have it be a physical piece of evidence. Talk it into the shofar. Job. I need every Say job. Say it into the shofar and it'll come out Jewish. So <laughs> you'll be like, oh, Is that a Jewish instrument? Yeah. Mark. Isn't that, isn't that? And it'll come out and be like, Jim Hagen. What do they play yourself? that? Do they play that after they blow a baby and his fresh wound? Yeah, that's how they suck the blood off the baby's wound. <laughs> this is not this, this is not good. As a Actually, Jew, they don't do that because they want lip to lip contact. Anyway, what happened to you as a kid? Oh you, yeah, you, you used to massage your a... teacher's feet. So we were talking about it before the cameras were rolling because I I I didn't think that you were like a a kooky not, nail lady. Me and Nelly, who's sitting over there, we got them together yesterday. It was a big deal. I wanted to be able to scratch my own head so that oh. I don't need a partner. So scratch those, my are, head. those are fake scratch nails on top Please of your nails. Please scratch my head. Oh, God. <laughs> Longer. It, like, legitimately fucks me up. That's nails on a chalkboard to me. Oh, okay, so maybe it's a sensory thing. Oh, no, oh I, so my head's like a chalkboard? <laughs> is that what you mean? <laughs> it is white and flaky. But, uh... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> First she came for my cat and I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so did somebody finger bang you with maybe you? i mean let's get to the bottom i i think we should try Is to get to the bottom of it you watch this i've been uh yeah dude that's like nelly watch this the i got t- this. the tips of my t- yeah here does this satisfy you oh <laughs> Tell us you sucked on the show. <laughs> Dude, put it down, put it down. Legitimately terrifying. You don't get how scary it is. You can't threaten people that close. You can't. It really is scary. Give it to me. Sensory overload time. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, tap in pen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I ate. I feel energy. No. I don't like when you have it because you threaten with it and it's really not okay. 
What? Ethan. When I threaten you, Give me the t- it's because I want right. to threaten me. Oh! <laughs> oh, dude. Why'd you do that? Give me the taser. No, Give no, no. I'm gonna, I need to calm. No, no, no. Yeah, it's it's waterproof. All right, all right. Take it. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Oh, is that just a flashlight then? Yeah. Dude, that is, uh, yeah, that's terrifying. That's yeah, probably really the closest. Hurts. Do you want to do it? It feels good. It does feel no, nice. No, to myself? Yeah. yeah. No, okay. no. Nobody's ever no. said yes. Yeah. I think I would say yes immediately. Maybe for Patreon. Maybe I'll do it for oh, Patreon. Oh, that's a weird Patreon.com slash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving maybe myself for time. The thing that people won't see. How yeah. about that? Yeah, how about that? I'll do the hard thing for the invisible thing. Let's do it. <laughs> For Wait, so invisible. so you a teacher made you massage her feet and no, you said so yes. She didn't make me what so what where that came from was Wait. I I made a mention about the nails. I said that I have a nail thing. Does it's, this suck for you because you have children? Cigarettes? That he smokes? No, I don't care. Okay. I, I smoke weed. Yeah. Oh, okay. It sucks more that because I quit smoking cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, but totally. No, I'm fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, I used to have this weird thing where I wouldn't let my mom touch me if her nails were painted. And I ha- and like you know, the more you dive into that, the very clear on the surface area is that somebody with that you got molested during coloring time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> somebody with nail polish yeah. did a deep Someone dive into really my Someone really put the yeah. finger in finger paint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just dripping finger paint, dude. You know what I also wouldn't do? I was like a little homophobe when I was three years old or four years old. We had to make like a Valentine for our mother, and they put on lipstick, and we'd like kiss the Aww. paper to be like love, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, get that. That fucking homo shit out of my nah. face. <laughs> I'm like, well, you're like a black know. dude that's like, they're making us wear dresses. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of agree with that, though. I would be, if I was in third grade, I would be the little rebel. I was kid. in third grade. Why? I was like three or four years oh, old. Oh, God. Yeah, I was yeah. really oh, young. Whoa. I was really young. Wow. But also, it is a weird thing because I, I was playing sports already. I was hanging out with older boys. So there was definitely some sort of At like three machismo. Three or four? Yeah. My my whole block no, was my, older. My niece is four, and I could imagine her being like. I was a feral kid too. Yeah. Is we were I was outside at the end of my driveway from two years old on. Oh, and just like watching all the older yeah, boys play sports thoughts. and shit. Yeah, three or four. I, was, I had a four year old the other day. I went, "Whoa, cool!" And she went, "Are you a boy or a girl?" It was so. It was so good. That's me like walking around, around the village. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> boy or a girl? She like, yeah. pull, she like pulled out some action figure. And I was like, whoa. And you saw her just be like, how did the boy's voice come out of your voice? She's like, are you a boy or a girl? Like, tell me now, you lying sack of yeah. shit. I, at parties, I used to run out doing the mangina and I go, am I a boy or a girl? I know that's like a hate crime now, but it was really <laughs> bad funny. Bad and weird, bad and weird, yeah. bad and weird. No, my kid asked that when we go to Trader Joe's and like whoever's working behind the register, he's like, dad, is that a woman or a man? What do you uh, say? I just say, what do you think, buddy? Yeah. And then, wow, that's good. Yeah. No, Put that's it back a on weird, him. Weird yeah. deflection. No, it's it? not. Now the child just has to deduce. <laughs> and then what's, what's what's you your, what are your gender blind spots? Yeah, she, they're, they're like, can you teach me this math problem? It's like, why don't you tell me what you think the answer is? You turn that paper into the teacher. It's on you, bitch. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You got to be like, it doesn't matter. I have told him I don't know. Say that's Trader Joe. Like I have Say that's that. Trader Joe every time. That's, that's Trader oh, Joe. That's not bad. That's what my mom used to do. That's Dude. Danny Wegman. I love the innocence of children. My buddy was telling me he was like a four year old and they're like they they went somewhere and like one of their friends in like another country is like an incredibly like dark African like black man. And the little boy (laughs) was looking at him and they were like outside and he was like, chocolate man, chocolate man, you're going to melt. Get out of the sun. Be safe. Come here. Come no here. No, like wanted him no. in the shadow wow. so he wouldn't get hurt. That's very sweet. Yeah, it was like so sweet, but it was like the most innocent thing ever. He called him chocolate. <laughs> That's so the guy finally comes over. He's cute. like, the, get in the dark so the cops can't see. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's so good. Make it, he just becomes really racist. <laughs> yeah. Said to you. He's like, make sure you don't smile so they don't see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, good. floating teeth, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's Dude, really that, cute right? that's like my niece when i was sad the other day she goes she goes why are you sad she's a little mafia baby she goes why are you sad and i was like i was like i'm, I'm okay i just want to be happy like you and she goes you want to do what i do and i was like yeah what do you do and she goes 
I wake up in the morning. And then she walked out of the room and I was like, that is the most. Grab myself a gun. I wake up in the morning. Like she was just like, I fucking put my pants on and go to work. I don't don't fuck around. I know I got responsibilities and people depend on me. You know what's funny? (laughs) You know what's funny? As a child, you have so much innocence and everything is fun and you have like sober fun. And like, remember just like putting your head on a bat and spinning around and getting dizzy for giggles. And then life beats you down. And then in order to get back to that innocence, everyone yeah, just yeah. chooses to do like drugs and alcohol because that's the closest to being a kid. You can, can, can I tell you? It. No, the taser helps. Yeah, the taser helps. Oh, Hard I blow this. <gasps> Please don't do it. <laughs> no, no, I won't. That was a joke. <laughs> no, for some people, I mean, because uh, to me watching my son, he's not sober. Like yeah, he's, he's, not sober. he's, he's, he's three. Up. He's yeah. not sober, dude. He's he is. Up lit mm. on life mm. like has all of this is oh, so also new his brain's developing faster than it will ever develop for sure and yo he's like it, it, that like rule of whatever is like he's just growing exponentially by yeah. day but he is on hallucinogens every day yeah. what every I'm day finding like, what is the sun dude yeah. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like I know well, it powers well, all of us but what I'm finding is if you can get back to that innocence without drugs, without alcohol, and maintain a childlike wonderment, things you do get joy of like, wow, yeah. the sun, you know? Yes. Yeah. No, that and is... I, I get there sometimes. I feel like I'm like that kid I Runners was high. when I was younger of just like before like unfathomable tragedies started happening to me at a young age. Yeah. I feel like I have now as an adult, like 30 years later, gotten back to this like joy fun yes you know play yeah it's yes. fun yes. man yes. i love are, it you are and a man child we have to clean this house the basement what we have to clean up this house we do you've gotten a little out of control we have yeah you have the upstairs i have yeah. i'm in the i'm in the throes of the i have to examine this trauma that that's the point i'm, I'm done yeah. i'm done obsessing and oh, analyzing yeah. myself yeah. like a it's rabbi yeah. reads oh, but the I never torah have. and there's a lot in there Oh, hey. so you're you're a first timer. I'm a first oh, timer. I've been like, fuck you, fucking yeah. nerds. I don't give yeah. a fuck. And now I'm just ruining my life. Well, that's you. what comes yeah. with, with time and age. Now, let's get back to that joke I made. I'm done examining myself like a rabbi analyzes the Torah. That's a good reference. How is that good? That wasn't because, a joke, Can we was talk it? about when he, you said he doesn't know what a back... Does Stefano is on here? Mm-hmm. That was a like jo- a more of a listen, simile than a joke. It's like unbelievable. Yeah. Listen to this joke. The Stefano <laughs> anagram for simile is smile. The <laughs> <laughs> Stefano is here. Yeah. He says that his wife is unattracted to him because... Uh, the the contractor is putting up a backsplash and she's like you can't even, you don't even know what a backsplash is and then later we unveiled that she's just fucking him and I was like talk about backsplash I see splashing all over her back nobody said anything nobody wow. said anything oh that's and not I'm bad. glad you brought it up now yeah. and I owe you this <laughs> <laughs> thanks man uh, <laughs> that was really fun that that just hit me in all the right spots yeah, like, yeah. Uh, it really that hurt great. me when that one got overlooked yeah. it really does oh, Nelly back, are you though? horrified with what you're getting involved in okay, Nelly okay. looks so disturbed doesn't she look producer level though she does she's producer yeah. level yeah. Nelly's taking it in and I've she'll laugh later I've only seen half of Nelly's face like Wilson in Home Improvement <laughs> so far <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm like just kind of trying to peek around yeah yeah, seems lovely though. Yeah, no, it's it's great. Can uh, I say? Can I give you a compliment? Yeah, uh, because I have uh, bringing me back to like childlike glee and wonder. Yeah. I've gotten a lot of that back from even just having a kid and being able to just right. re-enjoy the shit you enjoy as a kid. Mm-hmm. And also, it's the whole thing is trippy as shit because I he looks so much like me. I'm Aww. watching me see life for the first time. Yeah, so and like, you get to give them the life and love you didn't have. Correct. However, so with that, I've I've dove deep into myself in an effort to be more childlike and yeah. more happy and more like let fun in and silly. And you have been a go to for me no in way. terms wow. of a person who I feel lives. That. Obviously, you have wild downswings, but okay. you're uh, yeah. <laughs> but generally. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. generally, uh, you're you're so enthusiastic and uh, a pleasure to be around. Yeah, so. man, that means a lot. It's Thank true. you. I appreciate that. One yeah. thing that that helped get there is I like you are starting that. 
I have been doing that for a while. And it is a lot of like self it's, there's a very fine line between self reflection and self obsession. But once you get past that, you break through to this like beautiful thing where you're like grateful for the trauma you're, you're accepting of it. And one thing that did help was I was taking a picture of myself as a child and writing to that kid Mm -hmm. and like dude i'm talking years ago i did a group thing with like two of my buddies do you have those letters because you should read them on the podcast no (laughs) Uh, let's call derma yo let's call derma oh my god so so uh years ago i did a thing where we had to write letters to ourselves me and my two buddies sober friends in like a group like whatever like a man building thing sure and uh dude they read their letter and Wait, like one came, of these things on instagram man, where it's like thing? seize your alpha no 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 it was like a Get recovery thing testosterone back. no it was like a recovery Why thing you say man building i don't know because it was like men don't really share that part of themselves oh, together gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. so and they did theirs and dude i could not put words together it just so much anger i couldn't access yeah. that that i got up and i left and i didn't go back And I couldn't do it. And then in years and years of work of like trying to talk to that kid and like see him and like access that like really helped, man. It was like I walked out on hypnotism because they were like, now put your child, put yourself in the room. And I left and never came back. I came to or whatever it was. I came out of it and I was like, fuck that. Fuck everything you're doing here. This is some witch shit. (laughs) Yes. Fuck you. And I go there. Yeah. I don't know about it. So I have a thing where I I'm forever that kid. And that's how I view myself even in the world to the point where like socially, sometimes I'm very diminutive and just kind of like, Mm. or at least I feel that way. Like I feel like I can't break out of that. Just being like, I am that kid. Yeah. That was a nice thing I was talking about last night when somebody was talking about open relationships. I was like, there are moments where I'm like, I can do that. I can fuck whoever you fuck whoever. I'm cool. But I was like, I also have to take care of the other half of me sure. that is a scared child. I, uh, the yeah. strong Jordan has to take care of that Jordan. Yeah, yeah. And be like, yeah. hey, even though I'm fine with it now, she's going to be mad at me later for saying this. So, <laughs> yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 But I do that it's socially all the time. But then it, to like... Cause I think that has hurt me to a level, to a point too, where right. it's like, I, I still have just arrested myself in that position. And then I feel like not as good as, or equal to people that I'm talking to or anything like that. So I've actually pictured that kid. I've detached it entirely from oh, me yeah. and I've ran through my life story as if it was happening to this person as a character okay. and then like grew them up in my brain because oh, of what they went through that movie? and then i like we tried to take it after and like put it to me where i was like no that was you like you know the, those yeah. are all objective things that this kid you this kid oh, went yes. through treat and now they're like an you adult treat your friends kind of thing treat yeah. yourself like yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 totally with, that's with empathy. awesome yes i know you know what's kind of cool yeah is i feel like I, not to get on like hey you know but i don't know why i did that but I'll just say it. It's a crutch. As yeah, 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 yeah. I do a podcast with Sagalo. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of Italian voices. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, when he, when he runs God. out of things to say, this kind of comes out. I yeah. love it. I yeah. love the clip of you and Sagalo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where you're no, like, hey, I use a couple things. I use a crutch. I use a beard. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I feel like as comics we are analyzing and thinking so at a certain point in order to get better on stage you have to start analyzing your own life and it gets us same with people in recovery like we're given a gift that a lot of people just kind of float by and they don't think of and Mm. i think it's cool especially talking about this publicly it taps into things that other people feel and they don't even know that that's available right so like it's it's cool by just living our lives and then naturally evolving to this level other people can see that and get there like i don't know it's like a really cool thing and i don't think if i wasn't a comic if i wasn't in recovery i would ever be able to do any of this yeah you know i mean you have a you and i'm not sure what your relationship is to them but you have an interesting relationship with your fans because they are also similarly damaged people as are mine but yours is a very specific thing and also you are like openly kind of like helping each other yeah and yeah. being there for each yeah. other which is cool that's a it's a kind of a cool relationship you've established yeah. I, I don't necessarily feel comfortable doing that because i feel like well, uh, it like weirds me out sometimes yeah. and at the same time i'm like but man i'm like now after shows and talk to people yeah yeah i hide in the city I, uh i i just don't like going home and so i <laughs> will <laughs> hang 
and smoke. sometimes just comes down to the studio, flicks on the cameras, and then just does a solo, uh, never to be released. <laughs> I after shows, I mean, Mateo Lane was like, dude, I he was like, I feel bad about it sometimes, but I, it is work to hang and talk to people afterwards. And yeah. I just did so much work and I do feel similarly where after, I mean, it was nice. Like at a hardcore show, a kid came up to me and was like, you and Ian are sober or you and Ian don't drink. And that's awesome for me because I don't drink. And you guys think weed is gay and I'm trying to quit weed. And you guys saying weed is gay made me feel good about it. And that was nice. But after a show for me, I'm fucking zoinked. I'm I, not. Yeah. I feel so high that yeah. I wanted to keep going. And at the same time, I feel like a debt of gratitude that people are yeah. coming out. And spending a night, spending time, and I know, do that. It does, I go like, out and mean talk. I go out and talk to people. Yeah, I don't go hang out. Like I don't do the oh, go to drinks out. or anything like no, that. No, never, like, yeah. never. I keep it at the venue, and then I go away. I yeah. hide. I'll never. Me and my future play a fun game of hide. Yeah, oh, I feel, I, I'm very in debt. Like I feel that yeah. like, a lot of gratitude because yeah. I mean I know I know what it's like to not be able to work. And yeah. I know what it's like to not be invited to headline places and yeah. not, you know, all that shit. So the fact that people are coming out is like, yeah, whole, it's, it's, cool. it's unreal. But yeah. At the same time, I have thought like, man, I do give that to, you know, people and stuff. And then like, I got to balance to be like, give that to myself. And also like, man, am I choosing that over like giving that to like a love relationship? Yes. But, uh, okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> you look like shit today. She's wearing your shirt. You look great. You do look great. So about the nails. <laughs> you sucked your back? teacher's toes. I did. No, so in kindergarten. That, was that nice? Yeah. In, is everything going? Is everything okay? I talked about massages on stage that we were talking about where we're like, just do, do the back, head scratchies. Like, fuck my calves. Just do the head scratchies. Yeah. That resonated with people. It also resonated with people when I said, you know how you say, they say, do you want it hard or soft? And you say hard and then they take it as a double dare to ruin your life. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. real, right? Yes. Yeah. You're like, bro, come on. You it's know like, what I mean. It's you know like what Thai I want. places when they're like spicy yeah, yeah, or like yeah, spicy. Yeah. And it's like. You know I'm not from where you're from. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it like it's here, man. Yes. Yeah. When I say uh, you spicy, know, stop and proving like, okay, your fine, culture. Here's a glass of milk and no food. Yeah, we get it. Okay, wait. So you came here on a raft. <laughs> <laughs> your tongues are stronger. I yeah. get it. Yeah, your tongues I are calloused. <laughs> um. Okay. So you sucked your teacher's toes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, yes. <laughs> um. No. I when I was in kindergarten. I uh, massaged my teacher's feet and she was 24 years old. Nice. Smoking hot. Yes. Like, I guess just finished whatever. Coming. Uh, coming. Her name was Miss Racine. No. No relation to Mike. So Let's call him. Yeah. And well, see. I looked her up recently or not recently, like Why? 10 years ago okay, yeah. with my mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, because all of this, so I, I talked about this with people and in my family, it was normalized and like other conversations, it was normalized. And then I talked about it on stage as like a throwaway oh, yeah. mention. Stage will tell you the and, truth. And people uh, were like, yeah. whoa, dude, you yeah. were molested. Like, yeah. that's like. Did she ask you to do it? I don't think so. Actually, I think why I, am I saying that? Why did I, I just definitely victim did. blame a child? But it was like not bare feet. It was like black pantyhose. So like. <laughs> I had the most potent five-year-old erection Did you on really? earth. I was Did like you really? fucking dizzy. Just like, <laughs> uh, just, uh, just uh, nodding up her feet. Wait a minute. You were in kindergarten? Kindergarten with like a bullet dick. Like I could move a couch with my boner. It was that fucking. She was 24. 24, yeah. And what was she doing? How did she get Moaning? you to? No, she was uh, reading to the class. So she, this would be during story time and I'd sit at her feet and I think it got to the point where like other kids would like kind of join in and like, then they did whatever, but I definitely started it and I definitely did it a bunch. You know what? I we will also say just put her name out there. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, good. Good. I no, will she's, say, been, she's been married since. I will say, say as like, like a, you think that's the problem. You think her marriage? I'm talking about the cops, dude. I'm talking about the police. Yeah. As as like a she's teacher, I can imagine she's probably like at least he's not getting up and wandering around. Whatever, go play. Oh, probably. Like, that's an interesting as she's probably. reading, that's an like whatever point. to keep these kids, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I thought it was a situation where she's like, Michael, why don't you sit under the desk and massage my feet? Oh, yeah, and she's just sticking her toes in my mouth. Oh, God. That's that hot. was my, that was my. No, it was like public during story time and stuff. But that I was, think my, it was more my that. thing for not being touched by women. Yeah. 
I was t- telling him off camera that Nellie, who I've grown up with, I slept in her bed the other night and she's gay. And she, in her sleep, she nice. just she reached over. Stop it. <laughs> she just reached over and went like this while she was fully asleep and just scratched my head. Oh. And I got up out of the bed, walked into the kitchen, ate a spoonful of Nutella immediately, which is an anxiety thing for me, and got and sat and <laughs> laid on her couch. And she popped up and was like, what are you doing? And I was like, you touched my head. And she goes, no, 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 I didn't. And I was like, you did. And she, I was like, you lightly scratched my head. And she's like, I'm so sorry. Because I have a thing with women touching me because one of my mom's ex-girlfriends Toes in the mouth. Yeah. Toe, toes in the mouth when I was. Like Racine does to old? his kid. <laughs> what? Racine does that to his kid. Racine sticks his toes in his kid's mouth. And his Listen, kid's like. This... Yeah, but a baby is fine. I was like, yeah. were you? how old was I with. with? Why were you doing that? Yeah. How old was I then? Oh. Why were you yeah, doing yeah, that? Yeah, you're right. Like six, five or six. Why were you doing that? She was tickling me uh-huh. and, her, and the tickling got here and I was begging her to stop. You know, when you're t- being tickled, oh, no. but you're crying, begging. Yeah. And then, but and, you're laughing and they think laughing, you're like so having see, fun. Keep, but I was begging, please, 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 please. And she also, she's like too touchy. And then she started putting my toes in her mouth. I can't believe this. And it, I, it tickled so bad and I was crying. Back, and then she stopped. And then I had my first panic attack where everything in the room. I don't know if you guys have panic attacks where yeah. everything gets really small. Whoa. And everybody's talking to you like this. And they're like, are you okay? Is everything going on? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it? It's like and ever getting since out, then, like get out the tunnel vision. Yes, and like, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and ever and since then, then, then I have like, periodic panic attacks. Yeah. In yes, ear. dude. Yeah. Yes. Whoa. Um, I know. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And she didn't think it was anything bad at all. And that nuts. And I only realized this like five years ago. I was hanging out with one of my buddies, and we were talking about it. And and you know, she did something like she went, and you know, we've been friends for a long time. She did something, and I had this like, and I was like, I'm really sorry. I want to be able to deal with that. Like, yeah. I'm fi- men can touch me. Men can finger bang me. I'll you know, you can fucking pull my, you can <laughs> put your finger in my ass. Yeah, totally. I literally would be fine with it. It is just women. Patreon. Wow. <laughs> it's a hundred percent. Wow. Yeah. Like when like the difference between like. The Stefano just now and us taking a picture, uh-huh. it's like no problem. Uh-huh. But like Sherry and us taking a picture, I'm oh, like. Oh, you did look uncomfortable. I just wow. am like that with wow. all of them. It makes sense, though. That totally makes, totally sense. makes sense. Mine transcends sex because I remember even when like my dad would like reach over to like lock the door and I was like six and I'd just be like, <laughs> yes, like, yes. dude, I, I don't know what it is, dude. But I, maybe you uh, have the thing where I have the same thing where. To me, if you like, maybe at a young age, we got in our head about incest. Uh You know what I mean? Like somebody showed us something because I've always been like when people when my dad was like, kiss me goodbye. I would always be like. And like, oh, rock. kisses on the lips. I used to call my dad gay yeah. for kissing my sister on the lips. How old were you? I was like fucking seven, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Do you I grew kiss up with... your son? Yeah. You yeah, do. yeah, yeah, I do. See, yeah, I think yeah. you have to. But there is something weird about wet lit. Like, I just, no. I don't love it. Yeah, I, I totally. love him, but I, I kiss him like, I, I kiss him everywhere. I do not kiss him on the lips a lot. Yeah. And when I do, I'm kind of like, I shouldn't feel this weird about it, but yeah. I feel weird totally. about it, man. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Hey, everybody. Ian here. I need to know, what's your love language? Physical touch? Time with your partner? People get turned on in all sorts of ways. <laughs> Dipsy has invented a whole new love language, sexy stories for whatever mood you're in. If you're a fan of the pod, you know this is one of the only ways Jordan can get off. So I think Dipsy saw that and said, this is the pod advertising thing for us. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. And thank God a man is selling them. Uh, bringing scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and realistic characters. I am Raul, and here's the sound. That's what I think it would be. You'll discover stories about second chance romances, adventure vacation blinks, and hot and heavy hookups. Dipsy has stories for straight and queer listeners, thank God. And 56% of stories are voice acted by people of color. Well, thank God, because I can't come unless I know it's authentic. That better be a Spanish pool boy and not just Hank Azaria making up a voice. Now your content, new content, is released every week, so you can always find something new to explore. Are that many people dipping their toes in the dip seat that we need new content every week? I hope so. Find out. This actually intrigues me, and I really want to look it up. Oh, on the Patreon, we should have me and Jordan so you can come faster to dip seat. <laughs> 
They also have soothing sleep stories, wellness sessions, and sexy stories you can read. That is, if you can read. And why don't they have stuff for illiterate people? Do they have Braille, Dipsy? Mm -mm -mm. Listeners, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash ska. Dipsy, D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash ska. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to dipsy, D-I-P-S-E-A stories, S-T-O-R-I-E-S dot com slash ska dipsy stories.com slash ska to get your 56 percent people of color voiced wonderful sex tales yeah, i'm taking your clothes off is that maybe i should <laughs> all right cut the ad <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's your old pal Ian here. And newsflash, we're living in hell. Everything we put in our bodies bad for us. It's processed. No, no, bad, bad. But there's someone who's yum, yum, good, good here just for you. And that is AG1 by Athletic Greens. Why take a bunch of different things when you can just mix one scoop of powder and water once a day? I don't have time for picking out B12s and A7s and C14s and different vitamins. No. Fish oil, you stink. I want it all in one scoop so I can scoop, shake, and have alongside my morning coffee. Okay? A friend of mine found out that we were doing Athletic Green Reads, and it really impressed her because Athletic Greens is a big deal, and we're happy you're on Team B&E and Ian with Jordan, and I couldn't be happier to hawk this to all the little animals and animalettes out there. So take your vitamins, brothers. It's the AG1. Scoop, shake, and drink them up. Packed with over 75 vitamins and minerals for a major boost to your gut, mood, energy, and even skin, hair, and nails. What? more the fuck do you want okay bleep that for ag1 ag1 gives you increased energy and mood support making it easy to live your best life and when living your best life's tough you need a little boost that's why you call up ag1 bring bring hello please help i'm already there with the scoop shake and drink it all up with one little powder packet of powder if you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one year. What? Free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. I got a box of it upstairs and I'm taking it on the road. Go to athleticgreens.com slash ska. Athleticgreens.com slash ska. S-K-A. That's athleticgreens.com slash ska. Check it out. Hi, everybody. It's your old pal Ian here. Have a visible glory hole on your wall and the family's coming over and you don't want them to see it. Well, what do you know? We got the perfect thing to cover that hole in the wall. It is a disc plate. The cool new metal poster you'll want in every room. And look what they sent us. Can you beat it? They nailed me. That is the kind of gal I love. Kind of manly, kind of hot. And the cigarettes is what I love, and I want to put them both in my mouth. Thanks, Displate. You're our favorite, and I'm going to hang it in the apartment. I'm not going to put a hole in the wall, but I'll hang it. Promise. Uh, your poster comes with magnetic stickers, so you just pop it on the wall and hang your poster. They have millions of designs available and officially licensed designs from Star Wars, Netflix, Call of Duty, Marlboro, and more. No power tools, no wall damage. Easily switch out a new poster in seconds. Want to see me put it on now? <laughs> You sub to the Patreon for that, bitch. Beanian.com. Play at patreon.com slash pod. Click the link in our description to see some of my favorites and get ready to hang pieces of art. Save 22% if you buy one or two and get 33% off when you buy three or more. That's a very funny percentage of numbers to just throw out there. You want 0.789%? Use promo code SCOTT. Anyway, no. You need this. You need it. You know why you need it? Because it's going to help the show. Get a fucking display. 22% off when you buy one or two and 33% off when you buy three or more. The discount will automatically be applied to your cart when you click the link. Use code SCOTT. S-K-A. 
When you visit Displate.com to get the discount, Displate, D-I-S-P-L-A-T-E.com, promo code SKA, or click the link in the show notes. Let's get back to the show. This is who I am now. Sebastian Maniscalco stuff on his kids. Have you watched that? No. Man. It's good. He's just amazing. He's a funny guy. Yeah, he's good. And he talks about putting cologne on his son's ear, and he goes, just a touch. I'm trying to become <laughs> female Maniscalco. That's cool. I really am doing my best. I'm on stage doing a lot of Italian stuff. I think these nails will help. That will help. Yeah. Yeah. I think the nail thing for you, I will say, as much as you were molested, people <laughs> do have um, willies about things, uh, especially nails. Is Cold one. pricklies and the warm fuzzies. That's what we were told. Things and actions give you either the cold pricklies, oh, don't touch, or the warm fuzzies. That feels nice. And I was also told the only people that are allowed to touch you are your parents and your doctor. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> well, okay. It does sound like you some, like you were in a class for autistic people. Like, it does sound like you were in a class for retards. No offense. No offense. I, I'm just saying, if I was a retarded teacher, I would be like, okay, some things feel really bad. Some things feel good. Yeah. Don't let people molest you because you're retarded. No. no it's oh, it's oh, just oh, good oh, to oh, let oh. kids know that. I told my, I, I had my first defend yourself conversation with my son yesterday. I'll never oh forget mine. Oh my God, mine. tell yeah. it to me like I'm him. Because he, he was telling me about how a boy in his class wouldn't stop holding on to him. And he was like grabbing his arm and he was, and he told him to stop. And he told the teacher and the teacher was across the room and she was walking over to get him to stop. But the boy wouldn't stop. And my son said he felt helpless. Mm. And I said, and, and I go, I was like, do you know what to do when that happens? And he goes, push him off. And I go, you have my permission. Yeah. To push yes. him off. I was like, if somebody puts their hands on you yeah. and you don't want them to touch you and they do not respond to your words, you have my permission to physically remove them from your body. Yeah. And yeah. he was like, like Batman. <laughs> and I was like, like Batman. Did I was he like, say that? he did He's say so like so Batman. Cute. I was like, oh I was like I dude, I fuck children. that kid up. Yeah. <laughs> I want to fuck like that Batman. kid up. Yeah. Have you seen Even his child? No. Even entering that world, like the, because there's no recourse, right? You can't yell at kids, obviously, being an, a parent. But my first, I, I get like so viscerally angry at, sh at my oh, son yeah. being bullied yeah. to where like a buddy, it, 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 he's on the side, buddy. Uh, his five year old kid was shitty to my son. He was like, Can I play with you? And he goes, No, I'm older than you and I don't know who you are. <laughs> and I almost was like, Okay, I'm going to beat the fuck out of your dad in yeah! front of you. Like, yeah, I yeah, immediately totally. wanted to just lace his father up while making eye contact with the fat little five year old. Better and be like, This society. is your fault. Yep. This yeah. is your fault. Yeah. You have nice yeah. eyes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, but <laughs> yeah. We should be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. God, Ian, you can't even make it through one masculine statement. Just we should be able to kick the shit out of dads. I want to put it in your head. <laughs> man, you got the amount of scalp going down, yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, yeah. I can't turn it, it off. Good. It's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> you're gonna be on the stage at the cellar. I've been doing it. Doing this, and people, you're like, I'm just, I'm joking that I'm I am. I can't stop. I, this is what I've been doing. I go, what, are, what are we talking about? What are we doing? I can't stop. I can't stop. It's crazy. Crazy. I used to do it with Louie where I'd watch so much Louie that I would just mm. sound like him. It's good that I'm a woman yeah. because we all mimic and we yeah, have to yeah. stop ourselves from mimicking. But I, I can just I do, do I men. did a lot of Louie when yeah, I was we all, like, yeah. a lot of the over. The, the, I mean, what's I, the hand that he does? This one? He's always in the hand. Mm -hmm. just, oh, yeah, yeah. He does yeah. do that, yeah. I've been listening to a lot of his old O&As when he talks about his kid. Because when he first started talking about his kids, they were about my son's age. Yeah. Oh. And he has such, like, solid parenting stuff that he, I, I've just listened to all of his old yeah. shit. It's really great. That's so sweet. Yeah. His kids are hot. Are they? Yep. Yeah. Oh. I, actually, Kitty, yeah. I haven't, seen, I haven't met Mary, but Kitty is, babe, super nice. babe. Beautiful. Kind of mall gothy. Okay. Yeah, I resonated. I was like, I know what you're doing here. <laughs> I know what you're doing, I and I on. like it. I, yeah, I had a weird dad. I get it. You know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> My sister's a little mall gothy. Well, yeah, she was. She went through that phase. Now it's a she, great phase. Now she's more bohemian goth. Wow, what is that like? Uh, oh, that is oh, like um, Kingston, New York, <laughs> like right oh, up there, okay. Rosendale, and and yeah. Your but pulse. what is Bohemian God? Um, like kind of very, very like flowery, but also a little edge rock star. She's an insane musician. Oh, my, I thought you meant sister. like her like, like beaded curtains were knives. Nice. <laughs> Zoe Zoe Kravitz. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, what yeah. There you go. Mm. I haven't had sex in so long. I yeah. That's not true. You're just telling us a story. No. Yeah, you just were. No. Oh, you jacked yourself off. Yeah, that's right. But while something else was happening. Mm -hmm. What else was happening? Sex? The man was massaging me. <laughs> I, yeah, we can call that sex. No, that's not sex. What do you It's Bill a sexual Clinton? act. It's not sex. Yeah. Well, I did, did not have, have sex? sexual relations. I don't want to. Are you abstaining? I think so. I haven't had sex in four years. What? She has sex at once every election cycle. <laughs> Wait, why? Obama. That's a callback to a couple episodes. <laughs> exact interaction. I just don't believe in. <laughs> I mean, I am a big fan, and I noticed it. I just didn't want to tip my hat. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't want to let you guys know. But I fanned out a little bit when yeah. he did that. Yeah. <laughs> we get it. We get it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, Can I, is there a reason you're not having sex for four years? I'm sure you've touched because on Because men She's keep hurting lying. my feelings. I see. She's lying. Every time four I years, have sex no with way, a man. Though. She walks in, and she's like, I ain't so much sex. I can't walk. Four I feel years like ago, I've, I've heard that. you talk about sex recently. I don't even know liar. what sex is. Liar. Liar. I, I probably can't go three days without having sex. Liar, no liar, kidding. pants on fire. No! Oh, sorry. You know what? With the threatening thing, it's not fucking good. It makes us scream into the fucking things and the you listeners said in the have the last episode you wanted to get raped, so I'm trying to help you. Oh, Whoa, yeah. Stop! Right, yeah, you All see, right. it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good to be threatened. You're right. You're giving me the cold. I'm giving off the cold pricklies. Yes. From here on out, you're not my doctor. Kind of you're not my doctor. One day there's going to be like a legitimate assault on this show, and nobody's going to be able to tell the difference. Yeah. You're going to do like the Leo and the Departed thing, where he asks you if you're on your period, and you're going to smash a fucking glass oh. over his face. <laughs> it's just going to look so sick on camera. Yes, great yeah. movie. Like, do we stop? I'm like, keep rolling. It's just like gushing <laughs> just blood. Yeah. Oh. For the pod. Save it for the pod. Have you seen Barbarian? Speaking of no. Cold Smash, dude, yeah. Cold Smash. I'm on the fence about that movie. I hated it, liked it, hated it, liked it. I'm a big pussy when it oh, comes to scary movies. Really? Yeah, you big know, pussy. Gory scary movies, though. Like, I like the menu. Maybe you should I don't suck know on a towel and it'll make you feel better. You I like the menu. The menu was the worst movie ever made. You didn't like it? The menu, yeah, I did not like. No kidding. I saw the menu. It was Together. for I would hope with that service opinion. industry people. It was it was for Nelly. Did you see the menu? Yeah. First of all, that woman can suck a dick. That's Have you ever? Oh, you don't like the weird face? looking what face? Are you doing? I like her. her. She looks like weird. she looks like old N sixty four graphics. Oh, like where the face is too pointy. God. <laughs> oh my! She looks like she was in Turok. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Wow, very good. Yeah, That's yeah. exactly what she looks like. <laughs> Is that Star Fox? <laughs> oh my god. I need to pull up Star Fox. That might be really exactly. You, yep, you're gonna you owe me a haha. -ha. Wow. <laughs> you don't like her though. I find her attractive because of the weirdness. I no. hate her. Everyone that's always She's like, their weird actress. thing is hot. Oh I don't yeah. like, yet that's probably the thing people like about me. For sure. Yeah. You don't like, so you don't like, like slightly Give off. Give me another example. I mean, it, see, I don't even consider it weird, but like somebody like young Barbara Streisand. Oh like yeah, the, that's the not weird. And like, I no, like that. I know that's, but that some people would say that's not classically Dude, you know attractive. Who's the hottest in the world, young Cher. Oh, yeah. She's a unreal. transness unreal. about her that I she's, like. She's fucking hot now. I like to be kept guessing. She's hot. I bet, I bet her vagina is still like smooth and naturally wet. You know what I mean? Here's a topic. You know what I mean, Jordan? Smooth and naturally wet <laughs> yeah. as opposed to a naturally. Like right. She's, yeah, she's 70. She's uh, like most 70 year olds have to like gob up their clam with some oh, extracurriculars. God. I'm really scared of aging. <laughs> I'm scared of aging. I'm really scared of it. Is this true that uh, Aretha Franklin Peace is now offensive gonna... because her song "Natural Woman"? Oh, here's, depend, here's no what I think. It. We all need to get off Twitter, okay? It's ruining. <laughs> yes, I agree. It's ruining your brain. Can I say? Because nobody thinks any I think of those it's a things. Psyop. No. I think it's a psyop that a Twitter account that just started in January of 2023 is like the Trans Alliance or Lala. 
they came out and were like, this song is offensive to people because not all women are natural. Blah, yeah, that's blah. like part of bot And farms. then it started to pick up steam and then it became a thing. But they do that intentionally to sow civil unrest. Like, yes, that's it's part, a psyop. Yeah, it's not course. real. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah, and course. now people do because it's been put in their head. It's not fucking real. It's the same as Sandy Hook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Babble.com <laughs> slash ska. Learn a new language. Learn how to say edit in Spanish. Edito. Edito, Sandy Hook. I don't got the edit. It is a, uh, the expressive opinion of Mike Cannon himself. And if the cameras are off, I would agree. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, but that's like the animals having, or the animals, the children having litter boxes and stuff. That's a whole made up thing, isn't it? Isn't that not real? Where kids are identifying yeah, right. as animals? And the then kids hear about it and they're like, oh, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I would shit in a box of sand. I have. If I was a kid, I, I guarantee that's true. No, no, no. I You've never it. been so alone here with your cat <laughs> that you also shit in a box because during the pandemic. A hundred and million percent, I've thought about it, but yeah. I never did it. Dude, during the pandemic, I would have done it. Really? A hundred. If I was here Dude, by myself, two with days a cat, into the pandemic, you dyed your hair. Yeah. What that did you really, do? That I bleached was... my hair. Then I dyed nice. it pink. Yeah. Then I dyed it purple. Yeah. Wow. I dyed it all different wow. colors. Off the deep end. Yeah. Immediately. Immediately. While I was living really? at my in-laws, and my oh, father-in-law was why. radicalizing by the day, and that I was must yeah. been so wild <laughs> to both, watch. Dude, both my wife and my mother-in-law were like, "Cool, Mike, you got this." <laughs> I'm like, "Do I give me a 500 milligram edible?" And then I just listen, and then I just oh, would my listen. God, he was getting radicalized by. But I would. The thing is, is I'm I'm a conspiracy guy. Me I too, love it. Me too. I, I yes, used to host I used a podcast. To listen to yeah. down deep down, inside the rabbit deep hole. I used to yeah. listen to that, and yep. then your co-host made it unlistable. Yeah, well, because he went Why? into who like the uh, Dave Weiss, who is still Flat Earth Dave. He's known around the conspiracy circles. He's D I T R H, so he still is using the show for his gain. But he uh, <laughs> he became a flat earther, and it, be, it every other conversation became impossible because flat Earth basically infiltrates everything. The problem when, with flat Earth. I have a flat earth friend and the problem is that you get down to all of it and you're like, okay, what about this? What about the surface yeah. area? What about, and then it goes like this. What about the science? And they go, well, it's Satan trying yeah. to convince yeah, you. Yeah. And you're like, well, what do we do now? Well, and it's a war of math attrition. It's because somebody's knowledge is going to run out and their questions are going to keep going. And my ability to do math is like the, the proof of how to like, of how the earth curves is really complex and it's probably not, like it's not put an ant on all no, you no. have to say is ant on a yoga ball yeah, ant on a yoga ball I know. the ant sees a fucking flat surface <laughs> but i mean the actual composite shape of the earth like by math and the fact that it's it might but not be you, but then you get into weird conversations where it's like not a perfect ball it's an oblate spheroid and it, what does it matter it, it doesn't matter it, what's it, it matter? doesn't matter it's at flat all or not why do we care the point is that i was for sale because we can't. i was for sale i was willing I, I and was able to be a conspiracy sale. theorist because i had personal trauma that i was looking to blame with other things that's and where it all stems from of course it does and they, he failed doing so. He failed selling me on it. But what, I were, got what failed was to the sell original on it because point? he said Satan. What's it got to say? Your father-in-law. Oh, so I I had already watched all the videos that he was watching. So he would he would like bring a thing to me, and I'd just finish his sentence. And I'm like, yeah, tell me when you're up to chapter twelve. Like, get the nice. fuck out of here, dude. This is beginner hack yeah. shit. Like, yeah. tell, let, let's get dude, to the Boston Marathon. Dude, I had a buddy send bombing. a Bible and a flash drive with all these conspiracies on it. Crazy stuff. Kurt Metzger and me the other day get into a whole conspiracy thing. Dude. He knows Dave. He knows About, Flat Earth Dave. Uh, yeah. Ukraine. Uh-huh. And, and what is it? And them actually being Nazis? Well, just that it's the, the U.S. is having a proxy war with Russia so that we can Im export uh, oil to Europe instead of Russia to Europe. Is that that's probably sense? part of it? I mean, my who, conspiracy here's, here's, is that Hunter Biden was in with oh my the God. Ukrainians so that... Now we're giving them all this money because of business deals and everything that were set up prior. My conspiracy is even if you know that shred of information, 
that makes all the other information that yeah. much more pertinent and you couldn't possibly know. Yeah. So who gives a shit? Yeah. My like, old well, conspiracy was that Russia and China were in cahoots and Russia laid down to play possum so that China would join up with them for world domination, which they already sowed the seas for with COVID, but that's a whole nother story. And now we're going to get demonetized because we mentioned Ukraine and COVID. <laughs> so we might as well say the N word. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I mean, it's been on the tip of my tongue for the past fucking 12 years. <laughs> what you, you've said it in the last 12 years you no, said it in the last 12, 12 days. minutes yeah. mentally um here's the thing Get jokes <laughs> we can't even talk about the ukraine nelly does that make sense is the ukraine conspiracy is that it that the the u.s is creating a war with russia via ukraine well, is that yeah, because we're involved of, in a proxy war. We can't give money to Ukraine. We should give it there's to our a reason. Citizens. There's a reason for it. But it's a popular theory, not like with my mom, not like with our moms, right? That's like very much a conservative theory. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. That's a conservative theory. But is it like, that just sounds like a theory that is based on the last couple of wars that we've gotten into that have been involving oil. Like, yeah, we go to where well, the we oil. That. That well, my conspiracy no, That's why it doesn't even feel like a conspiracy. we invaded Afghanistan for the poppy fields so that we could fund the fucking... Well, they do have opiate. the National Guard blocking all the poppy fields. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, every yeah, year yeah, Alex yeah. Jones go on yeah. that run. It's the best, dude. Really? It's just like, in AK-47s. He's just, oh, it's so good. It's very, very... uh. I want to. Conspir- Why'd you get rid of the podcast? I would love to listen to that podcast. I, it, just the flat Earth thing. It, it, I was still like willing to do it, 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 even though it became like such an anxiety thing, and I was at my worst alcoholism wise. Are uh, you sober now? I don't drink. Are you drunk? Yeah, I, uh, for four four years. Nice. I don't drink. Yeah. Thank you for saying yeah. that you don't drink because yeah, you do sober. smoke weed. So, so thank you for not saying I, sober. I do hallucinogens. Because I hate it. sober stolen value when people are like, "I'm so." What did I say? You said value. value. Who? I hate sober stolen valor. When people are like, I'm sober, but I'm not sober. You're not sober. That's totally fine. Just don't say you're sober. What's the so, what highest milligram you've done? I t- uh, the highest is like close to 500, and it's what not even that remotely do fun. It, uh, that, to me, puts me like at the precipice the of an insane asylum. Yeah. Like, it feels very slippery. It feels Aren't like. Are you afraid you won't come back? Yeah. No. Really? I have a really have the strong heart, fortitude. The, the heart pumping thing. Yeah, but even that, I'm just like, like I've prepared myself for death on a couple occasions. Yeah, most of them have been like ecstasy and cocaine involved. Oh wow! One has been weed, where I was Ellie. I was like sitting with my sister and her husband, and I was like fighting the silent fight yeah. of panic attack. They have no idea what's going on. You're the, gonna the, bite your own tongue off. Yeah, we're like yeah. watching a movie. Everybody's having a good time, and I'm just like half like feeling an invisible fist grip yeah. my heart, yeah. then let it oh, go, I then grip my heart. Walk to a police station one time. Yeah. Really? Well, see, my thing is like at least there's people here. Like at least but like I'm if I I'm drop, like start biting them or something. <laughs> like, I'm like, what if I stab Dude, them? The very first time I ever did a gravity bong, I tried to bite my own fingers off, and my friends had to sit bro, on me. Bro, and that's my like, fear. That's my fear yeah. is that people will have to hold me back from doing crazy. I, shit. I tried to I bite my fingers off, and I thought they... I killed my friend's family. Yeah, that's that's, it that, was that's how I go. gnarly. And then they yeah. would do K2? drugs with me again, so I did do them by myself. What <laughs> was it? K two? No, it was just a fat, creamy gravity bong crazy and i, I remember it. right before How i big like was started bottle? going crazy dude it was like a two liter pineapple soda bottle nice. and my buddy's like oh i'm getting it creamy we're gonna get fucked up and i remember i did it and i was like is my dad proud of me <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they were like no nah, man don't worry about that keep getting fucked up and i was yeah. like yeah you're right just drink drink Go deeper. Smoke, smoke. yeah yeah, yeah. Go wow. deeper. yeah and i tried dude. to bite my fingers off i did uh that's a crazy I've always jump. thought about that. What if I bite my tongue? What if I yeah. bite? Yeah, the tongue is whatever because it's in your mouth already. But to go outside of that to bite your That's fingers off. That's my fear off, though is that I'm gonna just be like, what if I just try and saw my arm off right now? What if I'm that person? What, what if I'm I think that guy? I do I when I get that fucked weed. up. That's weed. No, oh, that's no, an no. underlying mental intrusive health condition thoughts, coming to the thoughts. surface. <laughs> Every airplane I'm yeah. on, I have the thought of what if I need to be restrained at some point. I, I have that thought okay, too. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. It's bad, like I have that uh, because I think, the, what if I open the door? Yes, societal of rules to me are so flimsy. Yeah, because you know, I we've I've watched so many disaster movies that you just know at some point. You don't, there are no rules. Yes. At some yes, point, of your life means Except nothing that, to you me. You live in New York City. Right. You which could very soon turn You see somebody who makes eye in, contact with you and you're like, 
no yeah. poop here. There's no I'm law. pooping here. You ever get so, you here. ever get so high that someone like a crazy person yells something they're like skin isn't real and you're like I knew it. That's I knew it. It's my bit. It's my bit. It's <laughs> you ever do the thing where you have to cool, have thought. your bits, but you Blink, don't have two, any three, coherent four. one, Blink, so two, I can't. Three, four. And the only reason why can you can memorize mine is because they're classics on a record where yours is just like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's why you gotta see oh, me because you never know what's gonna do. happen because I'm best. I'm best live. <laughs> I think you're best dead. <laughs> Damn it! I missed. <laughs> I like you alive. Yeah. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Let me scratch your head. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so you want? So I you have think good you're, bits. you're pro having children. Didn't damage your. How's Feeny doing? I think he's good. Really? I just met his baby. Yeah. You just met his baby. Yeah. Well, I mean, with with COVID and stuff, you what? can't. Just, and my son is just routinely sick from like spitting the in vaccine? other children's mouths. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, he's he's oh, natural they're, immunity. They're never gonna let they this be on YouTube. They are always sick, and it's so annoying because it's like I hate it. My niece is always sick, and she, like you said, kids are tripping all the time, so yeah. she'll just come up to you, red eyes, snot, and she's just like, "Well, we're fucking around." And I'm like, yeah. "You're yeah, riddled yeah. with a sickness that I'm gonna tomorrow is gonna ruin my month, dude." Yeah. And you're just like, "We're good, let's play." Like they don't care at all that they feel so fucking bad. You can quote my bits. <laughs> Okay. I have, you know my jokes, and you've told them to me when we were working on a set. So. I only know one of them. What were you no. working on a set for? No big deal. <laughs> uh, sh- <laughs> get fucking uh, naked roast again. battle. Oh, the only person named Gail is mom years old. September 11th, how could you never remember if you never knew? How could you never forget if you never knew? How could you never forget? These are, are these jokes or like these. a sad calendar? <laughs> these are classic five bits. Does that joke make sense to you? That Here's joke- the thing. My jokes on paper, no, I'll admit they don't make sense. But, but if you add some pizzazz yes! and some yelling yes! and a mustache and moving and shaking, I am Sebastian Maniscalco. I don't say I'm working on it. I am. These people. Jordan. You believe me, people. <laughs> I put cologne on my son's ear just to touch. Just to touch. Just to touch. Touch. He's the best. He's the best. Don't, t- Don't say, say everything. Don't say I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm squeezing real hard. Hard harder. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. So, so, yeah, keep doing it. There, there. See if you can guess See what I'm going to say. I'm gonna say. I, I, Ian Fry, a cool guy. Jordan, <laughs> I really, I really apologize for this one. You no, know it was great. Um, maybe this one will be the, are we doing Patreon yet? After. Maybe this one will be the Patreon. No, this what? is great. Oh, Why? okay, good. Yeah. Anyway. Goal. What was the trauma you were dealing with before you took the five hundred dollar edible? Five hundred gram, 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 gram edible. It's all the same shit. I mean, I'm more or less. I I'm, you work on trauma? Yeah. You go see Alan? No, not that guy. I uh, I, I I had a therapist, but now I, I I don't see one currently. No. What do you do? Um, I uh, I talk to my wife a lot oh, about yikes. everything. You know? Oh, she doesn't mind. Yeah. No, she talks to me too. The, we're talk, awesome. They've yeah. been together since life. So they yeah. were friends. We're, as we're kids. buds. We're like, you know, we're That's so cool. Yeah. And still makes you come. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. I'm really attracted to her. Yeah. Man, really? That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. so hot. Do you ever have a wandering? I want love. I mean, wouldn't uh, any living, breathing human being would look at somebody and be like, oh, I I would enjoy being inside of them, but then that's passing. Right. Yeah. We found out your kink the other day, you and I. What was it? Um, fart. Oh, yeah, that's He's right. He's a fart guy. Well, because what? speaking of Explore page, that's how it came up. Because yes. Dua Lipa is like my new, th- I, I fucking love that woman. It's unbelievable. And I would like nothing more. I don't even want to have sex with her. That's how I, I want her Rihanna. to shotgun a fart directly down my mouth. And like, then I like started telling him about fart porn and fart cake porn. Blast. Do, do you, have you seen the one? Did you look it up with the butt sitting on a cake and then she farts? Yeah, yeah, I've seen this. yeah, yeah. I've seen you that like one. that? Yeah, yeah. That you're in. I mean, I like, I like on Instagram on my explore page. Every once in a while, there will be an insanely attractive girl that lifts like a cheek and farts, and I'm like, I'm into uh, that. 
What makes you? It's okay that you're into it. I'm <laughs> yeah. into incest porn. Yeah. No what shame, makes but, you ugh. into that? Is it because they're dirty and it's a bad thing? They're doing like they're a bad girl. That I I think because I can't smell. If I was in the room and I smelled it, I think that would probably end it. Is it? But yeah. the idea of a blast of air, like See, just that's a, just a I nice a like kink. like a gust. A fucking hot gust Why? right up in kids your face. Cause it's like a dry Cause load. Cause it's like that's how close. <laughs> you know <what> I'm- <laughs> I always you know thought what I'm this picturing? Kid was made up. What? You know uh you know the old Maxel tape decks where it was yes. a guy on the couch and wind is blowing <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. you, but with some fat ass <laughs> farting yeah, on yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. Yeah. And it only makes that like I, I'm not and this isn't too attractive shame or whatever like uh, it's, it, gotta be hot. It w- it, yeah. it's gotta be like an insanely hot person yeah, yeah, you know, one like a wizarding seems ridiculous yes. yes and the idea that she is being a borderline truck driver with like an open ass right in front of Maybe you it's is like you, you're like the straight. only way that person would be available to me is if they if i caught them farting maybe my kindergarten teacher farted in yeah. my face while i was massaging her feet yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah very possible I wonder, do you have a specific kink besides men? Sorry, I'm really sorry I said I would stop. Besides trans men? Sorry, I said I would stop. I don't like trans men. Sorry. I like do you, trans you, women. Get, you get upset when you're reminded that you hook up with men? No. Oh. We just made a commitment that I would stop calling him gayless. I see. Yeah. yeah. That was the first kink? one, though. Was that a fart? That was no. this. Oh. Uh, do I have a kink? <laughs> Buttholes. <laughs> what? What just happened? I missed it. Somehow I mixed his kink with his fear. And he went, was that noise a fart? And I went like this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and the face you made was, <laughs> was like, I mean. I don't know what it, it was. Nobel Peace Prize. It was both. It was Whatever outrageous. it was. Yeah. It was outrageous. Don't, don't fart. Don't fart. Dude, I'm you not. actually cannot fart. You I'm actually not. cannot I'm fart. Peacocking. They're so bad. Please don't, dude. They're really bad. They get stuck in my eyes. You're welcome. I, my kid, I don't know. I like buttholes. Mm. Pro kid, we're pro having kids. Girl buttholes, not guy buttholes. Really? For me. I got caught. Yeah, I'm not for it. I wouldn't like tell somebody who's like, I'm on the fence. I'd uh, probably tell that person not to. I got in an argument with a buddy the other night who was like, you need to have kids. You need to have kids. It will this. And I'm like, dude, you tell me how miserable you are all right. the time. You just want oh, we're seen? misery company. It's also no, just no, like, buddy, Racine has done yeah. that with me where he's like, you should have a kid. You should do it. It's really good to have a kid. I'm and then s- five seconds later, he's like, I've ruined my life. <laughs> yeah. And under his breath, he's like, why are you even here? Yeah, yeah. It's like, crazy. Uh, that's I, pen rolls. That's hilarious. But it, that I'm I'm so happy I don't care if anybody else does like it it does not wh- your kid wh- you make me want to have a kid because your kid seems like it's he gives you bits he's great and he's, that's all I care I mean, yes he's, he's funny I also like that's what I write about yes. is my everyday life so he's my new muse like it was my wife then it was my father-in-law <laughs> now it's yeah. my son. you make me want to have a kid by the joy and how you've almost like found a new version of yourself oh yeah what was he kid. like before kid Drinker? Yeah, mess. Really? I was a fucking mess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like, and no, it was but still just, like, like nice. The... Still nice and you could get along with me, but I was like inside and also socially my behavior. Like I was just a fucking drunk. Yeah, but seeing yeah. the joy that exudes from you when you talk about your child and everything, like even like what? Oh, I say it weird. Well, child. 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 When you are talking about your child and even like Chris talking about his, like that's just like beautiful to see. Yeah. And that, Stefano. Oh, yeah. He didn't talk about his kids. Yes, he he did. He talked about how he reads and they love him and they, we can see the difference. We We can see the difference. We can, we just had podcasts. That's like he's doing better. This is literally, this is like, yeah. I got to ramp the love down a little bit and focus a little more on me. Literally is like down on his knees being like, tell me what it is, guy. And I'm listening. And then he's like, you'll never believe the thing he says. And Stefano is like, sometimes we take naps. (laughs) It's nice. My wife does everything. We take naps. We play video games. It's cool. I don't even know their names. I don't know how many there are. I don't know their gender. You know what I mean? I've seen pictures of Cannon's kid. Like, I know everything about this child. Uh, yeah, and it makes you want to, like, procreate. Yes, yes, but not to Stefano's version. To Stefano's, I'm like, I, that makes me want to be really but rich to have a wife. he gets a lot of bits from it. He gets a lot of bits. From his wife? What is he talking about his kids? And the kid, he talks he's got, about his kids all the time. New, he has a new, like, 15, 20-minute chunk about communicating with his, chi- yeah. with his kids that is, like... 
high it's level, really good. really good stuff. Yeah, really, I, really I, good. I will find bits elsewhere. I don't want a kid. Yeah, don't do it for the bits. I want a yeah. kid alone. I want my own boy. It might be easier. Yeah. Because then you don't have to coordinate with a whole other person. Like, the, th- the, the difficult thing is that my wife is like also career oriented and also doing well. Like she owns her own floral design company. And so we have to like, that's awesome. It's great in the sense where we get to be like, Hey, look at your parents. We just created our own careers. We went out and did something like that. That's a cool example to set, but it's really difficult in terms of logistics and planning and tracing your day together because it's on the road and everything. Yeah. So tough. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a babysitter? Like a go to, we do. Yeah. We have a, a, we also have family around. No, no, no. Mexican. Little no. guy. Jamaican. I always want a little. <laughs> hey, Mr. Michael, I'm here for your kid. No, they're under high demand. <laughs> they're, they're tough to lock You're down really these days. You're really bad at accents. Yeah. <laughs> what? You put the butt on the plate. Yeah. That's no, what you do. No, we just have a Hasidic man. Give me, <laughs> a, uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you Give me an accent. No. I'll do it. Hasidic. Yeah, come on. Yeah, pretty good. That's not bad. <laughs> not bad. Mm, Give me another. Um, Indian is under like whoa, a dish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was on here's um, the scenario. Do the Philly accent. Yeah, so not for nothing, but uh, you, you, we babysat your kid and we lost him. Okay, cool. That In a good. Wawa. That was really good. Can yeah. you do a... Oh, yeah, Midwestern. Yeah, Midwestern. Oh, I'm going to come. Nellie, what's another accent? New York. S- South African. Yeah, Aust- all right. Yeah, it's a bit of the same. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. of the same. Bit, bit more clips from South Africa. Bit clip. Yeah, they cut the words off a bit quicker. Idiot. I'm really sick of the Australian tourists. Say what? Because their wokeness is stuck six years in the past, motherfuckers. They don't laugh at anything if it's a little edgy. <laughs> Why are you shit. making them Italian a little, motherfucker? Because I'm Sebastian. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Sebastian. I love this man. I love this man. I can't believe how much I I, ne- I never watched him. Now I watch him. Everything's better. Everything's better in my life. <laughs> he is my whole family. He's I've your been kid. Missing. He's amazing. He's the way he kid. talks about his kids where he goes, I called my kid over. I was like, come here. Come here. That's my whole childhood. He's the best. Let's pull him up. Let's, bring, let's have him on the pod. <laughs> I think he's angry, which I love. Mm-hmm. He's angry. And then he turns on on stage, which I'm like that. I've seen him walk around the cellar. He looks pissed. Does and he? I'm like, That's I've how, never yeah. seen him in real life. Is he 5'2"? Yeah. yeah he's, 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 a, he's a tiny, tiny man. He's a tiny, tiny little guy. Tiny little Italian yes. monkey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think he's a babe. He's got this, that, that half smile that the, Italian, the, the my Chicago, grandfather had. Yeah. Chicago. I love it. He's the best. Oh, don't mind it. He's a heater. We keep that guy over there. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have kids. <laughs> yeah. I, I want a boy. How do I make sure it's a boy? I gotta get a guy. You can engineer him. that. Really? Yeah. I mean, if you do IVF. Really? Yeah. You can do yeah. that. You so well, what, what you do for same, IVF? So. We we didn't do it, but uh, I've had a bunch of friends do it, and you you get like the eggs, your retrieval, all that stuff, the healthy ones, and you get come into a cup. Then they do the the insemination and you get healthy embryos and they know the gender and basically like their stats, like whether or not they're going to be smart, whether or not like. So why wouldn't everyone do IVF? Very expensive. My How mom's expensive? trying to super, do it. 10,000 a go. Super expensive. Yeah. 10,000 a try. More, maybe. And it might not even take. Yeah. Like my mom's tried to do it, Michelle and Donna, and it didn't take twice. So they were just 20 grand in the hole. Oof. Oof. They, you don't get any of that money back? What you do is... Huh? It should be a like, if you yeah. don't, you get half back or something. Yeah, yeah. or a BOGO. Yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah, or at least like one freebie, like yeah, one yeah, free yeah. dumb kid. Like, Just yeah. let me come in that room again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Can we go to the fuck room? Just yeah. Whatever we want. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because I want to... Bo- I don't know, a girl. <sighs> what if you did IVF with my seed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Is, so we have an addictive person with bipolar disorder, OCD, and ADHD, and suicidal tendencies. Do you know how cool yeah, let's we are? Do it. Our kids no. would be so cool. No, they would. Well, be we were insane. talking the other day though that there's a large probability that you guys end up together later in life. <laughs> Oh, yeah, when we're old. Yeah, old. Yeah, very yeah. old. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I said. I was like, what do you think? Like, what are the chances of you guys ever giving it a go? Where it's like, there's very clearly chemistry. <laughs> yeah, there's that where it's like, there's no sexual tension, even though I think that's a bit put on by both of you. No, no, um, no, 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 and no, then, no. But you did pop into a dream of mine the other night. And I, it Bruh. really, really fucked me up. 
no Do you kidding. know how much of my me trying to come is me going, no, no dad, no Ian, no my really? friend's weird grandpa. <laughs> it's me, literally my whole jerk off session if I don't watch porn is me kicking people out of a room. It's me being like, get out, get yeah. out, get out. Yeah, you put the vagina. other day and I was like, no, yeah. no. That's a good day. After That's a not minute. bad. <laughs> That's not bad. That's uh, kicking people that. out Just of a room. Take a break from the pot yeah. to write a bit. Get out! <laughs> Lock the door! That's hilarious. <laughs> but I do think, I do think that, because when I said it, you guys were like, no, no way. And I'm like, not right now. I think probably, and when I said 60, I thought it. But now I kind of am thinking even 50 uh, for like just like to, 12 years. For yeah. Me. Yeah, or her fifty. I think twelve years in comedy is a long time to be doing something the same way with the same people, with the same whatever, without changing anything up. So I do feel like you'll like reach fifty and be like, I just got to do something else. Do you, you wanna... think we're gonna be podcasting at fifty? No, yeah, oh. no, I'll kill myself. No. Yeah, me too. We'll all be podcasting at fifty. Oh, we're God. gonna podcast till we die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're gonna yeah. be talking into a phone yeah. and fucking. We're gonna be plugging you know, Patreon as seventy-year-old men. Patreon.com. I'm not hard. repulsed by the idea of having sex with you. Yeah, I'm not repulsed by that idea. What <laughs> position comes to mind first? For him in the back, doggy. Yeah. So I don't. So I don't have to look at his face. Pillow style. Yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah, Straight yeah, up yeah. Bag. So you do, you do you have style. pillow? Do you bury your you know, face yonder, in a pillow? That, but for a face. I bury my face in the pillow. What'd you say? I didn't think I was gonna like it, and I really liked it. What was it? I missed it. What was it? Uh, Yonder's the thing where you lock up a phone and you have no access. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But for your face, (laughs) do you do that? Do you walk around and pinch your sides? No, I have a new tattoo and it's scabbing. Uh, So let's see it. Because I do that. I walk around and call myself a fat little bitch while squeezing. Isn't it funny to think about Sam online boy as? Like, imagine if Sam Online Boy is trying to pull off a cannon. Like, that's what he thinks he is. Who's Sam Online? What? You know how he kind of has, like, a bizarro different world? Nobody sees that? Okay. Who's Sam Online? Am I? No. Oh. Am I online? I don't... No. Don't worry about it. These are... The fans will know what I mean. Okay. What? He's like a bizarro world... Like, he's like, if cannon took a horrible turn. They sat in the same spot once. No, 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 no. But I think Sam (laughs) is trying to do a cannon. Sam's turning to a come. He's down. going for a cannon. Oh, look. you mean a yeah, look. aesthetic? Well, Sam, why not? Cannons Sam Bankman no. Freed? No. Who's that? Isn't that the oh, this guy <laughs> Sam Olano? Oh my he's like God. really. Sam he makes day, like really Atel, funny parody songs. The other day, Atel was like, he he was like, I look. He, he pointed to a guy and he was like, you look like that cyber guy. That's you look like. Said to Ian, you look like that cyber girl who did that cyber thing with that other cyber guy. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> Sam Bankman Freed's girlfriend, it was so good. <laughs> It was so good. Oh, and unreal. the whole audience knew what he was saying. Dude. I loved it. <laughs> what do you say? Without pausing and immediately as if it was finishing my sentence, the other night I go, what are you going to do tomorrow? He goes, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Hit Ryan Hamilton with the bus again. <laughs> <laughs> Just immediately, I mean, immediately. Been saying, like he had been waiting all day. <laughs> Ryan Hamilton, for the listeners, is uh, a comic who sounds exactly like Jerry Seinfeld. I think he's way funnier, but he did get straight up hit with a bus. Than Seinfeld. Yeah, in oh LA, hit by a bus. <laughs> Three in the morning, smoking. Oh, what are you going to do tomorrow? Hit Ryan Hamilton with a bus. <laughs> oh my God. That was in so LA funny. that happened? Yeah. Fuck! It's like the, it's like the do, the guy from I'm Dying up here. I gotta say, oh yeah, that's right. That's Except a, this wasn't intentional. I wouldn't know yeah. about that. I'm 21 years old. Um, <laughs> no, you'd be hot if you were. Um, that's like a compliment, also. Oh, you're hot. You are hot. You were just saying that you're a pedophile. Is 21 pedophile age? No. Yeah, for his age, for your age, yeah. Is it? Yeah. No. But I'm like a woman with insecurities, so anytime one of my friends is dating somebody under the age of 40, I'm like, you fucking fuck It is babies, funny. Dude. The older women oh, yeah. get, they really push mm-hmm. the line of what's legal. They're yeah. like, 26, you yeah. fucking 30. Yeah. Yeah. Kid yeah. Touch a loser. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not doing any younger Sorry than 26. Sorry your vaginas went bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I get it. Sorry your ovaries are the name of a Chinese social media app. TikTok, 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 TikTok. How did that TikTok. all come together? But you can't floss. You know what I mean? How did you just put that all together in two seconds? What do you mean I can't We're at floss? 110? 
I oh, let's floss. Start the Patreon. You don't. Floss. I floss. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing the pod. Stick around. Oh. February 25th, Gramercy Theater, yes. New York City. Get tickets. There's still some left. Not a lot. Get Not them now. Lot. That's great. Yeah. MyCanonComedy.com, that? uh, 400 something. That's think. amazing. Yeah. That's great. We That's great. put that at the beginning Gramercy. of the episode. Please. Patreon.com slash Pod. Here's a scenario. Here's a scenario. Pod. We just did the episode. Really so fun. fun. So good. Also. Oh, I have a scenario. What? Okay. Let's do it on the Patreon. Yes. Okay. F- Patreon to see it. And also, just what so everyone knows, I floss. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. <laughs> I have it in a while. You gotta. Especially if you smoke. Yeah. Bad. It's February bad. 25th, Gramercy Theater. I had the flossings. I, know. I floss. That's why you don't floss. Those things suck.